Hello, my friends. So now it is Saturday, and I think we're getting into the swing of this, right? Are you guys finding a good place in your day to insert this devotion time? I really hope so. And if you haven't found it yet, no problem. We have several more days to get it all sorted out. The title of our devotion today is Suffering. We're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to the book of Luke. Then we're going to turn to chapter 7. And together we're going to read 18, 19, and then 22 and 23. 18, 19, 22, and 23. So go ahead, press pause, get yourselves all set up in Luke 7. And when you're ready, you press play again, okay? I'll wait patiently. Are you guys all set? I am too. So Luke 7, 18, 19, 22, and 23 says this. John, calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to the Lord saying, Are you the one who is to come or shall we look for another? And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, the poor have good news preached to them, and blessed is the one who is not offended by me. There was John, shut up in prison, soon to be killed. He hears what Jesus is doing, healing the blind and the lame and the lepers, raising the dead, preaching to the poor. John recognizes that Jesus is fulfilling many of the prophecies, Isaiah, spoke about and said that the Messiah would do. But what about Isaiah 61, one? Hmm. Will Jesus also proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound? Will Jesus set John free from prison? Why is he waiting so long? Jesus' heart goes out to John. He knows what John is suffering and how hard it is for John's faith. But he also knows that John's suffering is a preview of Jesus' own. Both John and Jesus are arrested, suffer, and ultimately die. It is not part of God's plan to rescue either of them in this world. God has bigger plans. God intends to use Jesus' suffering to redeem not just Israel, but all the people in the entire world, past, present, future. That is his bigger plan. God the Father will not rescue Jesus from death. He won't. Instead, he will resurrect him and share that everlasting life with everyone who trusts in Jesus. And now what of our own suffering? That too, we trust to the Father. He knows. He cares. We can trust him to do what's best, even when we can't figure out what that might be. Let's pray. Father, when we suffer, help us to trust you to end it in the right time and way. In your name we pray, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, friends, wow, this was a big one, wasn't it? This spoke a lot about suffering and being patient in that suffering, trusting God in that suffering. Oh, After this video ends, there are three things that we're being encouraged to think about, to reflect on, and maybe chat about with someone else. Um, They're not easy to think about. I'm going to ask you to think about some hard things. I'm going to be thinking about some hard things. So I don't ask these questions lightly, okay? Okay. The first question is, name a time when you suffered. How long was it and how did it end? Hmm. The second question is, what effect did the suffering have on your faith in God? Oh, I'm very eager to know that. Very, very curious. And now the third one. How did Jesus care for you during this time? And if this is a suffering that happened in the past, you know, hindsight is 2020. And I just wonder if you can see Jesus all over that time of your life. I pray that you can. I love you so much, my friends. And I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.